Ramona Jennings bought her Volkswagen Jetta specifically because its diesel engine was supposed to be better for the environment. Now, she won't even take it out of the driveway. I'm very unsettled. I'm very upset to find out that the car that I bought, for the very reason that I bought it, has been a lie. A dedicated owner turning away from diesel, a dramatic shift in sentiment. Just two years ago, diesel was the darling of the Detroit Auto Show. With better mileage than gasoline, manufacturers saw diesel as a way to meet strict new fuel efficiency standards. All they had to do was convince consumers the noisy, dirty, smelly diesels of yesteryear were a thing of the past. Now, diesels from more than just Volkswagen are being called into question. Today, a German magazine reported BMW's popular X3 diesel had real-world emissions 11 times over the legal European limit. And Renault, Volvo and Hyundai all have diesel vehicles that would not pass real-world emission tests, according to the group that investigated Volkswagen. We invite all member states, uh, in addition to the ones who are already doing so, to carry out all the necessary investigations. European officials are now calling for diesel models from all manufacturers to be retested. And listen to what some are saying about diesel now. I think the reputation of the industry is going to be trashed over this scandal. Outside Europe, this analyst says, I think diesel cars for now are dead, maybe forever. Not everyone buys that. Automotive journalist Jim Kenzie has owned Volkswagen diesels for years. He says they still use less fuel than gas engines and says Volkswagen and diesel's reputation will recover. This will certainly be a setback to them. I don't I think it is a diesel killer, and I don't think it's a Volkswagen killer. But to diesel owner Ramona Jennings, it is. I don't know how they're going to recover from this. The fuel of the future, parked, for now at least, at the side of the road. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.